Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to check for viruses on your iPhone. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, if you suspect your iPhone might have a virus, I'm gonna walk you through a variety of different steps that you can take to identify those and fix them. So it might look something like this. You might get a warning that says your Apple iPhone is severely damaged by viruses. Or maybe it looks like this. Your system is heavily damaged by four viruses. We detect that your iPhone is damaged. All these different ones potentially could get you worried that your iPhone has been infected by spam, malware, anything like that. Now, there are a few different things to check and make sure of before basically taking it to Apple and going through all that process. You can do a lot of different things on your phone. So let's tap on your settings here. And let me go back. You're gonna tap on your name at the very top. So you wanna make sure that this is your Apple ID. Your Apple ID has not changed. Make sure that is your email address at the very top. And you're gonna to want to scroll down and you'll see these two devices that are signed in. Make sure those are your devices. If you see anything on here that you don't recognize, I recommend tapping on it and then just hitting remove from account at the very bottom. So these are different things that you're checking to make sure everything is okay with your Apple ID. So the next thing that we will check is we'll scroll down and we're gonna tap on privacy and security. And then on here at the very top, let's tap on location services. You wanna look on here and anything with that little arrow has been using your location. Potentially if you have a virus or malware, it might be using your location. If you see anything suspicious on here, apps that you really haven't used, or that basically you don't want access to your location, basically go in here and disable this, and you might want to, at the very top, turn off location services while you're working through all of this stuff. Now, that's another thing to do. Let's just go back and um, go to the bottom here. So you can see safety check, I can tap on that, and it says on a safety check, we can disconnect from people, apps, devices. So if basically you need to, you can always do this emergency reset. If you really suspect that there is a virus on your phone, tap the emergency reset. And it says basically um, use this to protect your information, people, apps, to change your password, or any of that stuff. So I'm gonna hit exit here and go back and go back. Now that you've checked those different things, another thing I would look at is the battery. So let's tap on that. Now what we're gonna look for is something fairly unusual. So you can see the battery usage by app. If all of a sudden you see a big spike in battery usage, on maybe an app that you don't really use, this might be a good indication that there is a virus or malware in that specific app. So for instance, at the very top is Amazon here. If I didn't use Amazon in the last 24 hours, that could be a reason to believe that maybe that is infected. So this is another place to check. Another thing that we're gonna do is to make sure that everything is up to date because if there is a virus in any app or the iOS, updating it should fix those. So let's open up your app store here. We'll tap on your profile at the top right and then just swipe down to update this. If any apps on here say update, just go through the process of updating all of these a lot of times there are security features built in to this update, basically various updates for these apps to make sure that nobody could hack into them and then subsequently hack into your phone. After you've done that, let's go back into the settings here and we'll go back, tap on general and then software update. We wanna make sure we have the latest update for iOS. So you can see the latest right now is 17.2. Just go through the process of updating it. Again, a lot of times these have security updates. You can see right there it says bug fixes and security updates. So make sure you update your phone. Now another thing that is fairly common is a calendar hack or malware. 
So let's open up the calendar here. And what you're gonna wanna do is tap on calendars at the very bottom center. On here, this will show every single calendar that you're subscribed with through your email address or different things. If you don't recognize anything on this list, what you wanna do is just tap the little I right next to it and hit unsubscribe. This will make sure that you clean all of this up because sometimes these come along with viruses or malware. If you go through all of these steps and you still suspect that there might be an issue with your phone, the last thing I would recommend doing is heading into your settings here. Oh, let's go back into settings, tap on general, and then we will tap on transfer or reset iPhone and then erase all content and settings. Basically what this will do is back up your phone and erase everything. Then you can just always reinstall everything. It should have a fresh new copy of all those apps, of your iOS, all of that stuff, and you should be good to go. If you still feel like you've checked all of this stuff and there's a virus on your phone, I recommend taking it to the Apple store to have them run diagnostics. They'll be able to get everything fixed and basically wipe the entire phone and download a fresh new copy of iOS without any bugs or viruses. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.